Hello and welcome uh, to our vlog. My name is Oren Gabay and today I am going to speak about a very special license manager, the Select License Manager from Bentley. So, this is the Select License Manager for Bentley. You may have heard about uh, Bentley. Um, they have very famous uh, products such as Raytrek and Stad. Uh, and, but the special thing I want to speak about today is their license management concept. So, they have two um, type of licenses, perpetual licenses and term licenses, um, and, le and they're combined. So, let's see how it works by giving an example here. So, let's take a company. Uh, the company has four licenses. Um, and they um, each each client connect to the uh, to the Bentley Select license manager. Now, um, since we have four perpetual licenses as our four usual employees access the licenses, they are fulfilled from the perpetual license pool, um, and that's great. But Let's take a situation where we have additional users, maybe due to more projects or that came in, and uh, we have three additional users that are using the, the licenses from time to time during the months. Um, so basically, each of these, license, these users, when they access the Select License Manager, they might get a perpetual license since one of the normal users uh, don't use it at the moment or maybe they will get an additional license manager. They will pull an additional license but they only have four. So Bentley says it's not working like that. So if you go over the, the number of perpetual you start using the term licenses. So we will fulfill any number of licenses you consume and we'll give you term licenses for the additional users. So let, let, let me show it on the chart. So let, let's say this, this axis represent uh, days and here we see the license usage. So let's say that typically we are using four licenses and then there is a peak usage. The peak usage is measured, um, um, okay, so additional users came in and let's say I consumed one more here. But here there were more users and on this day the peak was higher. Let's say three, so we get to seven. So I, I, I get here. And next day was um, lower maybe and then the peak dropped and most of the months are used for licenses. Uh, so it makes sense that for, for the time, for the extra usage, I'm going to pay here for the usage, but it's not working exactly like that. Uh, we are going to pay for all this, for the period. So this is actually a, a very interesting model. This is an introductory and in the next video we'll extend to the, uh, we'll extend to the, uh, and talk about the concept and give some more details and idea of how to manage it. So thank you for joining in today. I hope it was interesting and looking forward uh, to see you in our next video. Thank you.